So WaveLab Pro 9 is out. There's a whole load of enhancements, but in this video, I'm gonna focus on using the batch processor. I've got a bunch of samples here. These are chord samples. I don't know if you remember the review that I did of that library, Real Deep Chords, but one of the things that I found since using it is that the levels of the chord samples fluctuate quite a lot. And when I audition sounds, I like them to be a consistent level. So I'm gonna treat them all using the batch processor. Let me just show you something here on the browser. If I click on this speaker icon, we can audition the sounds. And notice that we got this visual analysis whilst we're auditioning, which is one of the things I love about this. I can scroll through and I can take a look. And it's worth taking note of the levels up here. You see the level meter. So we've basically got the peak value and then the RMS, all right? So have a look, let's see the fluctuations. So that one was minus 9.68 dBs. That one minus 10.51. These are all pretty good. But look at that, that's really quiet. So the minus 11.75, minus 17. Up again, minus nine. And minus 11 dBs. So there's really quite a varied range of levels across all those samples. And like I said, I want to actually make these all the same level. Okay, so to do this, what we do is we come up to the file menu and we say new. And you can see here we've got a bunch of options. I'm gonna say batch processor and we're gonna say full multi-core empty. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. It could feel a bit confusing, a bit daunting. I'm gonna basically suggest just keep it simple to start off with. And what we're gonna do is drop down here and make sure that we have custom plugin chain. And just click on the plus here and we got some options. Let's come up to multi-pass plugins and we go up to level normalizer. And I'm gonna bring this through. You can see that here, okay? And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring everything up to zero dB, so that's the peak. And I need to actually add the files. So over here, we got the ability to add. So I'm gonna drop down here, select folder. And where were we? We were CM. So I'm gonna click open here. Click on the refresh button to get the actual file. So this is everything within this particular folder. Be careful when you're doing the next step because what we're gonna do is we're gonna process all of these files. And there's a section down here which is basically to do with the outputs. Now, the default setting, I would say, is a good one because it's gonna create an output subfolder and it's gonna put all of your processed samples into that folder. I'm not gonna suggest overwriting the existing at the moment because you may make some mistakes in the early days of getting used to the software. Okay, so I'm gonna suggest you go with the setting for output. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna take all of those samples that were inconsistent levels, run them through a normalize process, which is gonna take all of them. It's gonna look at the highest peak and then take the level all the way up to zero dB, keeping everything else relative, so not changing the dynamics of the sample at all. And we're gonna take a look at that in a second. So this is what we've got. We've got over here, what it's gonna do. So it's gonna normalize all of those samples. Over here, these are the samples it's gonna process. Down here, this is the destination. So it's gonna to go to a folder called output. All of those process samples will go there. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna click on start. You see that was really quick because it was a small list. And that's a great thing about batch processing is that it can handle a whole load of files and deal with them very quickly. Imagine going through to all of those, normalizing each file and saving again. That's a long winded process. So let's take a look at the results. Come up to the file menu and we go to open and make sure you go into audio file and not on the batch processor. And you can see my folder I had before. Here are the original samples and here are the output samples. So let's have a look at the level of these. Okay, much louder, up to the zero dB. Same again.
so there we go. You can see that they've all been normalized. I could now safely take those and replace the contents of the original folder now that I've tested those. So you can see there that WaveLab Pro 9's batch processor allows you to take a whole selection of files and apply a process to all of them at an incredible speed. And if you're putting together a sample library particularly, this kind of stuff is invaluable. Thank you.